Hey YouTube, it's Sean again. And uh, really appreciate all the new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys and gals that uh, subscribe to my channel. Today I was going to show you the business end of this generator. The actual alternator end of it. Um, the actual part that actually generates the power. I'm not having any trouble with it, but it's pretty interesting how they... Uh, the old Chinese guys put these things together. Um, I've actually had this one apart before because I had to rewire the, you know, the uh, the working end here, the breakers and the plug-ins and the switches and everything. And um, it had a different battery in it, and I installed that battery there so that. Uh, you know, I could take the battery off with just wing nuts right here. And uh, that way when I store it for the winter, it's uh, real easy to get the battery off. And um, it, it does have a rope start too, so if, you know, you don't have to have the battery to run it. But anyways, uh, let's get to the working business end of this thing. And um, we'll just pull this... Uh, little cover off it has two little eight millimeter bolts that hold it on there and uh, I'll show you what the working business end of it is it's uh, really pretty simple I like it because it is simple um, seems to have held up really well over the years my brother-in-law is a logger and he used this for the longest time but uh for uh up at the, up at the job site but yeah where we're looking at there's the avr automatic voltage regulator and there's just two screws that hold it in and uh there's your brush set right there and um personally i like the brushes better than i do the capacitor the brushless generators seem to not hold up very well and the brushed ones do hold up very well but um this here has held up extremely well let's take the AVR off and I'll show you a little feature on the AVR that you'll uh, you'll, you'll find interesting The, uh, you can set your AVR to uh, maintain whatever voltage you want to set it at which is really it has a little potentiometer on the back of it I don't know if you can see it YouTube but it's right here yeah it's right there and um, you take a little straight bladed screwdriver and you use your multimeter and your plug and your plug in or you can just use the gauge that's built in it's more accurate to use a multimeter and then you go ahead and you set up your uh, your voltage right here and you can set it for whatever output you want and there's a little tiny 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 brass screw right in the end of this potentiometer and um, these voltage regulators are very easy to change they just unplug here and they unplug up there to your brushes and that's it that's all there is to you know and I carry a spare one of these just in case whenever I go out camping or anything with the, tra the camp trailer because these are only like 40 50 bucks new. I mean, brand new. This one is stock. It's never been swapped out. The capacitor seems to not be swollen in it. It's in good shape. And they, uh, but, but no. You set your voltage right there. There's a little tiny screw. That you use a little tiny uh, screwdriver. And you can set it for, uh, you know, 120, 125. Um... You can actually set it for uh, higher, you know, 
if you want to use the generator for some special purpose I'm supposing you could because I've turned it all the way up and it'll throw out uh, 240 however it doesn't have the amperage these generators don't have the amperage like the big generators do and um, running one of these um, that hard is probably a bad idea because I'm sure it would take out the AVR and it could take out your windings so it's, it's, it's better to run these generators just as what they're made for you know you know 120 125 whatever you know right in that area I can't imagine one of these running 220 it's just a bad idea now I do have a bigger version of the same generator and it's a 7500 watt but in it will run 220 I've run 220 off of it before and it runs it very well but it is it's substantially bigger I don't know if you can see it in there but it's basically the same setup and uh, but yeah that one will run the 220 without a problem but it's substantially more amperage and uh, with 220 you don't just need the volts you need the amps as well well this one runs 120 very well and it supplies great amperage I got uh, I think 30 amps 30 amp breakers in it and it runs them perfectly I have never uh, I've tested the breakers by a purposely just momentarily shorting the gen, gen head, just momentarily, and it clicks the breaker quickly. And um, so I know that the, the breakers do work. And that's what's important if, when you do a rewiring job is to make sure your breakers are not uh, going to upset the gen head. In other words, you're not going to bake things. Because if you bake the windings in one of these generator heads, you might as well ditch it because it is costly to repair. You might as well just put a new gen head on it, generator head. Anyway, guys, there's the business end. There's your bearing right there in the center. And this end bell comes off. There's four bolts, one in each corner. And everything unplugs. And there's your block for your uh, L1, L2 and it's got four posts I don't know if you can see that but it's L1, L2, L3 yeah no problem it's pretty simple generator to work on and it's pretty super quiet as you guys could see in my last video but um, those brushes are a way better way to go the brushes wear for years and it's six dollars to replace the brush brushes or less where the capacitors if you get near the capacity of the generator with the capacitor instead of the brush setup not good um, it'll blow it'll blow the capacitor and then you're uh, not not happy because you're in the dark <laughs> but no I like this one because it has the uh, has the AVR and it has the brushes don't get a brushless generator if you buy a new one you won't be happy with it. I have a brushless generator, and um, it's it's uh, rated at 1,200 watts. And if you run it at 1,000 watts, you can touch the capacitor with your hand, and you can actually feel the capacitor warm. And that's not a good deal. Where these don't do that. So if you buy a new generator, I wouldn't buy a brushless generator. I don't care for them. Um, this is the way to go. All right, YouTube, there's the business end. Pretty simple. Thanks, guys, for subscribing. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think or if you have a question. I'll do my best to uh, get back to you and answer you. Take care, YouTube. Bye.